Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. <sighs> hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and we're continuing to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And something we were just discussing in between episodes. Um, do you guys know, is there a term for a person or like a, a drug addict blaming someone else for their addiction like you know because there's such a thing as an enabler where it's just like oh you know they're that person is legitimately enabling like, the person's addiction them, and you know them giving them stuff the or making excuses for them and stuff like that well giving them the heroin is more a supplier cool. I, I feel like that takes a step beyond, beyond merely enabling. enabling um but yeah well, it's, well what's the exact definition of enabling being enabler. Someone who enables someone to... What am I, a fucking dictionary? I don't well, know. Like, let's make sure we're getting our terms right. we got to figure out the proper answer. I think I've got my term right. That's not the arrow you want to shoot. There you go. Not the arrow you want to shoot. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Octorock. <laughs> Octorock! <laughs> Octorock! Get, get back here, you monster bits. Ooh, ooh, oh, beached fish! That. Sorry, I'm looking that, off in the distance. That did not look, uh... Did not fishy, look fishy, clean. fishy. Sweet. Well, actually, probably not sweet, but, you know, whatever. Where's my horse? Because I would think that a the kingdom, a kingdom would be for the my one horse. that, uh... That gives the first, like, taste. The well, one who's like, okay, do this, now you're hooked. Well, All no, right. but I think, I think, like, an enabler is somebody who's more active throughout the entire process. There's a shrine right up there. I should go get do it. that. I will do that. No. No, no, get... I'm impressed that horse is finally like given into you now. He's oh like, my god! I stop, stop hitting that button, Adam! For fuck's <laughs> sake! I'm sorry. I'm bad at games. If if that wasn't clear already, no. Nope, turn, 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 turn. There's a season. Turn. Dude, I love horseback riding. I've only done it a few times, but it's a lot of fun. It is. Like I, I, I made a full 180 on horseback riding. Well, I mean, not entirely. Okay, so, story time. <laughs> I'm just like, well, yeah, this... Uh, let's, let's I'm, give I'm, some not, I'm not giving any any indication as to what the fuck I mean. I'm just... My wife Here's hates it words. when I do that. Like, I just... I'll start a sentence, and, like, I'll make a decision inside my own mind that, like, answers the question I was about to ask or something. And so I'll be talking to her, and then I'll just trail off mid-sentence, and I'll, I'll just stop. And she's just like, fucking what? And I'm just like, no, no never mind. Nothing. It's not important. And she's just like, <laughs> fuck you! Um, that would drive me nuts too. Yeah, she, she. I don't know why she's still married to me. Really, it's a it's a mystery. Um, but anyway, we because you enabled her. I don't know. We took a vacation to. We're gonna circle back around to that. <laughs> Reed Ahi. Reed Ahi Shrine. Reed Ahi. Come on. But there's no D. You stupid tuna. It's R E E. If I am any type of sea creature, no, it no, is absolutely no, 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 no. It's re dahi. So if you move the space, it's read ahi. Stupid oh, fucking bad. tuna. Clearly, I should have been a better reading tuna. All right, I accept. Yeah. It. Fishing tips: read better. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Be a better fish, motherfucker. Timing is critical. I'm sure it is. Uh. Uh huh. Oh, gotta watch my timing here. And boom, boom, nailed it. So um, we went, we took a vacation to Hawaii and it was the first vacation ever where I didn't have a plan. Like I didn't have like well prescribed go. anything. It was just, oh, we've got resort reservations and we're gonna go. No, I understand then, why not though, because why you wouldn't plan that one because uh, I don't. What's that? What's that Facebook guy who uh, bought all of Hawaii? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he did not buy all of Hawaii. He that... bought the whole Hawaii. He kicked them all out of their homes. Dibs, dibs. He just landed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I own Facebook. Dibs. <laughs> Fuck you and your Hawaii nonsense. Dibs. It's mine now. Yeah, this is mine. This is. <laughs> he I'm just gonna pees make... on it. I'm gonna make. A... <laughs> I'm gonna make another movie about how I'm really, really thoughtful. <laughs> and kind of an asshole. Uh, but really, I'm the victim. So, I went to Hawaii, <laughs> and, like, we went there with no plan, and the whole thing was, uh, the resort offered what they call excursions. 
Nope, that was time draw. Um, they had excursions that they do where, you know, you, you leave the resort for a bit and go do a thing. And, like, you know, some of them are way more in-depth than others. And one of the ones that Jen talked me into was, you know, scenic horseback riding for two hours. That's and nice. It, it, at the time, like, she she was mocking me. She's just like, you're scared of horses. You're scared of horses. I'm just like, I'm not scared of them. I just, why? I can walk places. <laughs> why why burden an animal with my dumb ass? Um... But yeah, so we went and I'm just like, this is this is a waste of time and this is stupid and my legs hurt. And then like I didn't I didn't fully understand, like you sort of form a connection with the horse. And my horse was awesome and really uh really a neat dude. And so I had a ton of fun doing it. Like I'm not sure if I would do it again, per se, but I Oh no! Oh you <laughs> bitch face McGillicuddy. So you had, like, a spiritual connection with your horse? I really did. Like, w me and my horse got along really well, and it, it furthered my uh, my understanding of animals in that I have I have some weird connection with animals. Like, I'm not... I forgot that was going to happen. Almost <laughs> died. Um, yeah, like, I just... Like, I've always gotten along with cats and dogs really well, and, like, I can do a certain degree of... Yes, climber's bandana. Nice. Yeah. And, uh, and I always just sort of like, like me and animals, we just sort of get each other. And that sounds super hippy dippy and weird, but whatever. <laughs> um, can I make the, no, fuck me. All right. Um, shit. But like me and my horse got along really well. And like, I I'd, I'd never ridden a horse before. There's I'd never no ridden a horse before. And... I just sort of, you know, wung it, obviously, mm -hmm. and it went really well. And, like, me and the horse got along, and, like, he, you know, he followed what I told him to do. And it was cool. That's cool. Last time I went on But it did hurt riding. my legs. Oh, like, yeah. That no, was, it'll definitely oh, hurt boy, legs. my crotch was I was in, I was in, mangled. I was in South Dakota on a place uh, called Deer Mountain in the Black Hills. Oh, that sounds and it was pretty nice. it was sounds, pretty neat. Right, it was it pretty deer. It, it was interesting because there was a dead deer at the top of the the path. So like, well, we I guess that's knew. where they got its name. We <laughs> always knew that we we're in the right spot when we saw him because it was there for like the whole week. That deer just stayed there. I mean, I oh, you'd think dear. it would go find something else to do, but it didn't. It just lied around. What the dead deer? You thought it? You really well, you thought it was gonna? Pull itself up by its bootstraps, its hoof straps. Well, and... I mean, come on! It was just because it went to a zombie walk and then decided to take a nap doesn't mean that. Anyway, well, your brain we went works in interesting we, ways. We went. Uh, it was kind of cool. They had a they had like a barn puppy in the barn mm -hmm. that wanted to eat everyone's feet. Okay, like That's... he was really cute and playful, but he just really wanted to eat our shoes. Um, and I got this big giant black horse named Bonnie, and. Uh, the horse was just like, fuck you, we're doing what I want to do at first, and then finally, like, came around to doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. But according to my friends, I didn't even realize I was doing this, but apparently I was giggling for most of the time we were riding. Okay. Like, just hours, like, <laughs> oh, oh, fine. Snap. Oh, they hit the, they hit just the horse. I didn't take any damage off of that. Come here, horsey. Here, buddy. Oh, man, that thing is just jumping out of the water shooting rocks at you. What a dick move. <sighs> Button. No, nope. run, run away! Oh, just run your belly. God damn it, it's over there maybe. Yeah, all right. Well, no, yeah, yeah. That's something that I, I picked that up when I got the next map point. Uh, I got the Sheikah sensor down in the corner there, so my HUD is just getting more and more cluttered at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's essentially a Wi-Fi sensor where if you're going toward the shrine, it lights it up more you. than it would otherwise. And that's pretty neat. But no, I, I, uh, I just found that I really enjoyed it. We, 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 we had gone a couple of times while we were out there, and uh, the horses are a lot of fun. The first time we ever did it ever at all, I was really scared and I didn't want to do it. And uh, Why are you scared? Cause like, I, because come on, how many? For when I was a kid, I watched a whole bunch of these when animals attack type shit, 
Yeah, and I watched a horses. deer murder somebody. Also, if you fall off a horse, you gotta wear like Whoops. it's a smart idea to wear a helmet. I mean, I didn't because I don't do smart things. Well, but it's yeah, a smart it's... idea to wear a helmet because you could fall off a horse. It could get upset. You could get kicked in the head next. And there is a, there is a possible. Oh, I am more shy. likely to die riding a horse than playing this game. So yeah, it's a little bit scary. But uh, I don't I actually got... know the stats on that. That might or may not be true. But oh, there are spikes that. there. Oh, that's. Oh, mistakes were made. <laughs> I need to be higher up to glide into. Okay, so oh, we're not cool gonna. Is that a uh, like... hot Dahmer shrine? Cat and I got hot Dahmer shrine. <laughs> it's just Jeffrey Dahmer. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. and Cat. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Telling you my goddamn story. Yeah, but I. We went game. up a mountain and. Uh... It was it was raining on the mountain, but not where we started. So we started going up, and then we started getting hailed and rained on. By the time we got back to the farm, we had to turn around and go back. We were hosed, but it was a beautiful sunny day at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Just the term "hosed" for being rained on a lot. I, I, you have you have interesting speech patterns. Well, like I've never not, is I, that not accurate? I mean, well, I was, no, it's not it's not inaccurate. I've just never heard that term used to describe being, being wet. wet. Like being hosed. That no, just makes sense to me. Well, yeah, I suppose. But, I don't know. Is that bridge guy? He doesn't want you to jump off? Nah, this guy doesn't care. Run him down! Oh, no. that's... <laughs> I was joking. That guy's got way too much on his back. Oh, sweet! So this is a stable where you can... It's the Dueling Peak Stable. There's two peaks and they are having it out for one another. Good horsey. No, don't bite me! Good horsey. Good horsey. That guy does not look happy. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Would you like a complimentary glass of glue? Have you seen your <laughs> face before you know about the stable system? I'm going to go with yes, I do, because I do, because I played this. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. No, I wanted this so you would talk less. Look at the dude in the corner giving me the death glare. It's like. Yeah, dude, they're fucking angry. Fuck you. Get so out of here. Related, so Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. So what'll it be? I'm going to register this horse. I don't have any rupees. I can't register this horse. Yeah, I'll try. You're not... Not a problem. We caught... No. No. Yeah, it's fine. Damn. Okay, well. Looks like you're broke, man. Damn it. All right. So we can't register my horse. Normally, you can register the horse, and then you can put him into the stable and get him out at any other stables, and it's neat. It's like the stable system. Yeah, the, the stable is somehow teleporters as well. Or maybe there's just tunnels. Yeah. What? That song? Is that what you're singing? That's uh, that's the song for Kakariko Village, I believe. Okay. Or no, that's Saria's song. No, that's fuck. Someone's song. Zelda's Lullaby. Fuck. I don't know. It's been too long since I played Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Which I actually like. It's not surprising because I wasn't a big fan of Ocarina at the time. I like, like the Macarena. I like <laughs> the Macarena of time. Stop it! We're going to jump. We're going to jump. We're, we're gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing the Macarena of time. <laughs> hey, Macarena. No. <laughs> now we're in 1973. What a depressing year. Guys, I got an idea. We'll call it YouTube. And also the internet. First we got to invent the internet, and then YouTube. And then step three is profit. <laughs> Let's get into banking, because we're going to rob America blind. <laughs> Easy there, Donald. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the meanest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, really, I didn't mean it. I love you. I, that's... Oh, no. <gasps> oh, this is the dude! Shakalaka! Or sh shalaka. Um, no, shakalaka. What the fuck is happening to Shakalaka's face? Shakalaka? Why does his face look like a glory hole? You? You can see me? I can't see you. Shokaloka? Then how are you talking to me, silly boy? Shalazar, Shalazar! It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. 
I'm Hestu, and I need your help. It's always been a hundred years, monsters motherfuckers. Over there, so my beloved maracas. It's probably maracas, but I'm, no, maracas sounds much better. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. And I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. Shoko, oh no. Oh no! So please, please get my maracas back from them. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on the next turn. episode, we're gonna get his maracas back. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get the maracas for the glory hole monster. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just... <laughs> That's what I said. His face looks like a glory hole. I missed just... that. Whenever I... well, okay. Uh, anyway, guys, question... everyone, uh, everyone fantasizes about how they're gonna go out. Is it a big bang or is it slow and silent? Uh, how do you think that, uh, what do you think Adam and I's epic death fantasy is? Like, we're going to go out in an epic movie exit. Yep. Answer the comments below. End of the week, we'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Bye, everybody. Shaka, laka, laka time. <laughs> Penis is my mouth. <laughs>